and today uh, specifically we will talk about how to mm, tr uh, how to trade uh, on the stagnant market when basically the market is in the period of stagnation in other words the market moving uh, sideways like this one on Bitcoin you see that's the sideways market what we see now and that's actually one of the best times to accumulate cryptocurrencies or for those that are quite conservative when it comes to the risk uh, you can still trade on the sideways market to uh, pairs that are trading to USDT like for example comp to USDT or uh, let's say ZAC to USDT Wh whatever your aim is and your risk appetite uh, there are lots of opportunities out there right now because right now it's crystal clear that the market is in the period of accumulation so that means that this can be a prolonged period so this can like trade within this area for like maybe a month or maybe less maybe even more it doesn't matter it's just that we have all the tools at Beatscap to make like to take advantage of this sideways market and I will show you exactly how to do this so this is something that we we, we, we briefly discussed that in previous webcasts, but since the value of uh, each new webcast is to show you use cases and how to hedge against the falling market and how to take advantage of the sideways market, that's why today we have I have prepared for you lots of use cases. So we will talk about uh, the spot market uh, automated trading and we will go through the bots that I have right now active and we will also talk about the mm, the combo bot and I will show you how I used the combo bot to hedge against the fall that we had from the 37k down to 32k uh, last week so let me check the chat to see if everything is good yeah perfect so let's continue let's just go straight to the action and um, by the way by the way uh on, on binance there is a promo right now for like three months or something uh literally you can trade uh futures contract uh that's bitcoin to busd this one let me show you bitcoin busd that's the contract that you have there this one you see busd so the fees there are now negative so that means that you get paid actually for being the market maker so whenever you short sell the market or long the market with limit buy or limit sell order basically you get paid for what you do and and that's gonna be for like three months that's a great opportunity for you to use to trade uh, on BTC to BUSD with the combo bot that's why it's I mean it's perfect not only you will generate returns just due to the algorithm of the combo board but you will also earn rebates for each limit buy or sell execution on BTC to BUSD so that's like as uh, I wouldn't say it's a big surprise but it's kind of a kind of a um, decent reward thanks to Binance um, so yeah so what I got here you see the market moving sideways so I have still in place my bots that I launched like 25 days ago right then we had the next phase of the market downfall from 47 45k approximately so that's the one I show you right now that's Bitcoin to USDC and you see that my range let me actually zoom out the chart like four hours it's gonna be good so you see I looked at the previous um, price formation and decided that the optimal range for the bot would be to trade from from around 45k down to the lowest that I consider to be possible price for, for Bitcoin to fall at least for a, a short period of time down to 30k you see that's exactly what happened and it actually fell to that point twice one two and three times already so this is when the 
mm, the as bot can bring you the most mm, because it's like the as bot is perfectly designed to generate returns like maximize returns on the sideways market so that's exactly what i decided to do and you see it works perfectly well so far 46 percent within the matter of just one month you can check the rest that i have for example for quantum busd you see also pretty much it moved in the um in the market range that i defined you see like it went a bit lower but still that that's that was a perfect uh price range that i set for the quantum you see indeed so so far so good and that's 27 percent so you i also have zero x and litecoin that's because i prefer these coins these are my top coins uh, always that's that's quantum that's uh that's bitcoin that's ethereum but i don't have ethereum train to use the t here but i have ethereum just uh, in my portfolio so that's the thing and uh, and notice that i have some other cryptocurrency pairs trading so that's the zero x to bitcoin and in previous webcasts i mentioned that the highest possible return you can achieve with the automated bots at beats gap is by trading the classic bot on multiple cryptocurrencies so by multiple cryptocurrencies i mean pairs like 0x trading to bitcoin or that can be for example 0x trading to bnb so that means that you are simultaneously exposed to the value change of two coins that's the 0x the base currency in that case and the btc which is the quote currency in that case and as you know the bot uh, has a changing value in its base in open orders and the quote in open orders because whenever the price falls it takes your quote currency that's bitcoin in my case here and it buys 0x whenever the price rises then it sells 0x in bitcoin so that's why this balance always fluctuates so you can see at some point that you have more 0x's than bitcoin depending on the market volatility so as you look right now at this price action that we have on 0x to bitcoin you can clearly see that the value of 0x relative to bitcoin depreciates so that means that <clears throat> most likely people are selling uh, altcoins to bitcoin in order to accumulate bitcoin basically they want to have more exposure in bitcoin because the market sentiment right now is really in favor of uh bitcoin due to this uh news around the el salvador and all that stuff so that's why we had this bounce of the 32k up to 37k and most likely that's not the limit but still risk should be considered so that's what i see and for me that's pretty okay that's okay for me to see that the value of 0x depreciates to bitcoin because in that case i'm just selling my 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 zero x uh, oh sorry uh, actually um, buying zero x with the bitcoin as the price depreciates so that means that i have now more zero x in this bot which is good because in in the midterm and long-term perspectives i do believe in zero x and for me that's pretty okay to see this kind of uh, action and that's why i launched this bot because i'm indifferent towards whether i will have more zero x or bitcoins I'm just indifferent towards that but the cool thing about it is that i use both 0x and bitcoin to generate extra bitcoin like for example here in poly trading to bitcoin i have so far made 19 percent to my initial investment in bitcoins okay so this bitcoin that i made in profit it is also exposed to the value change relative to usdt right so as soon as we see bitcoin going higher hopefully reaching let's say 100k 
at some point of time in the future then the profit that we made on trading it like poly to bitcoin or 0x to bitcoin it will double like it will triple even so it's not go it's not 57 it's going to be like 157 so that's what is the uh, high yield strategy that you can achieve uh, at beats cap trading to to um, crypto assets the value of which is exposed to usdt this is when you can achieve the most right so you generate returns in the crypto and you anticipate that the value of this crypto will appreciate in the future relative to usdt for example so that's why you can see your returns uh tripling for example that's the case but at, at the same time uh this is the the most riskiest um, automated strategy that you can have possibly here because what can happen is that both the value of 0x to usdt and the value of bitcoin to usdt can depreciate which is very bad in that case you're you are exposed to the double risk exposure that's the thing but since um we are clearly right now in the accumulation phase and there are lots of um, tools that you can use to actually see the, that we are in the accumulation mode so for example you can check the data on the glass node and you will find that there are lots of long-term holders that are right now accumulating uh, crypto you can see that there are like uh, 12,000 bitcoins that were purchased at 32k and around i don't remember exactly but yeah i think it was like 14,000 bitcoins that were purchased at 37k so you can see that approximately the average price that the market entered is around 35k like 34 or something k so they are now in the profit zone uh, because the price is now uh, trading at 37 so and and that's not it only i mean there are other things you can uh, check like for example the volume profile uh, let's go to bit bitcoin to usdt so you see right now we are trading above the highest point of interest by the volume profile which is actually good because that means that we passed this um, this level of the of the maximum turbulence that we had in this area and since we are trading above it this is very good hopefully we will bridge uh, 40k this will most likely open the round up to 45k back but uh, i mean that's not the financial advice or and, and i'm not trying to tell you that you should rush into the market right now i'm just telling you what the market shows us right now and how you can interpret this data like other complex um, and sophisticated tools that you can use are like this one for example that's the bitcoin nvt price you can read about it how it's actually being calculated and the thing about this one is that it actually shows you the real price of bitcoin based on the investment activity on the market and it shows you the uh, actual price on the market so according to this chart for example the nvt price uh, should be around is actually around 40, uh, 55k but the actual price is around 37k so that means that we are now trading below the market premium and you can see the past cases then this have happened you see whenever the price fell below the nvt price it pretty much quickly uh, regained in strength afterwards so that it trades at this nvt price or above it uh, like for example in this case back in 2018 you see below the nvt then again we still came back to the point where we are trading at the nvt price and or above it or at it price so the pattern here is that uh, the price comes back to its real network price so what we see now is a huge gap between the NVT price and the market price, which basically tells us that the fear 
on the market is real, but the threat itself is not. The, the network um, health is, is, is very uh, at, at a great state. And that's because of the activity happening on the market. That's because of the uh, transactions and accumulation phase and all that stuff. Well, it, it, it looks like we are clearly in the period of accumulation and that's why that's the best time to take advantage of the S bot because it's the ultimate bot we have to generate returns on the sideways market. You see? Sideways market. Most likely when I will see the price breaching 40k, hopefully, I will close these bots in order to reopen them, but in the different strategy. That's going to be classic bot. So the reason for that is because classic bot is a perfect tool. Like it's the, it's the ultimate bot for you guys to uh, generate the maximum return on the rising market. Classic bot is the ultimate one. And that's why most likely I will I will flip to classic bot as soon as I will see that the sideways market is no longer uh, prevails and that means that if we breach 40k most likely we will move higher and that's the opportunity for the classic bot to step in because classic bot generates more returns on the rising market and that's because of its uh, algorithm. Classic bot always buys the same uh, amount of coins and always sells the same amount of coins. So whenever 10 coins costs you 100 bucks, it will spend 100 bucks. Whenever 10 coins now costs you, let's say, 150 bucks, it will send this 150 bucks. So that means that as the price appreciates, it keeps rising. In order for the bot to buy the same amount of coins, it will now need to spend more money, right? So that means that your investment exposure increases as the price appreciates, which is, which is beneficial for the rising market, because the more your exposure is on the rising market, the, the more returns you make, which is not the case for the S bot, just for you guys to uh, refresh in your mind. The classic bot always spends the same value per each level. So it always, for example, buys on $100 and sells on $100. So it can be that it sells nine coins and at some point buys eight coins. So you see the number of coins changes, but the investment value always remains the same. So that's why it's indifferent towards the price appreciation. It, it will still spend $100. So that's why on the rising market, it makes no sense to trade the SBOT because it's not the best one to make you the, the biggest return on the rising market. So um, for all the bots that I have right now active, I have trailing up enabled just in case if I, I let's say I'm, I'm away from my laptop. I'm, I'm, I'm having vacation wherever. And the price breaches 40k. Let's show you Bitcoin. Thanks to the trading up enabled, the bot will continue trading. So the trading up will enable my bot to move my trading range, which is now here, up to the point where the price is now trading at, at the higher level. So if it goes, let's say, to no, it's too far maybe to 42k then you will see that my trading range will also move with it but i mean here it's up to 44k possible right my current range so in that case it means that if it goes above the 44k my trading range will follow the rally and it will now be trading here so basically long story short trading up enables you to follow the market rally follow the market appreciation uh endlessly okay so that's why you don't need to <laughs> stay in front of your computer for for like every day you don't need to check it every day you have this trailing up that will uh keep you safe and uh, whenever the price will go to uh, new all-time highs the bot will follow the rally 
for sure. So that's the thing about trailing up. But since I know that the classic board will bring will generate me more returns on the rising market, whenever I will spot the uh, bullish trend, and this is when I will flip to classic board. But as of now, it looks like it's still gonna trade in the sideways market, so I'm gonna stick with the S bot. So <clears throat> that's the thing with 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 the high yield strategy, which is once again having two coins. Uh, crypto assets, which is 0x and Bitcoin, for example, I generate my returns in in the crypto asset, that's Bitcoin. So basically trading to these coins, I um, accumulate more coins in my portfolio, which is good for the midterm and long-term perspectives if I think that the price of this coin will appreciate let's say back to 60k or even it will make 100k at some point of time in the future so with this uh, strategies i accumulate more coins but i also have those that are trading to usdt or busd which in terms of diversification and risk perspective is is a good thing to do because when you generate returns in in dollars you know that what you made here which is $76, the value of this will remain tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and like uh, in, in, in a month as well. Because we know that stable coins are in diversify your portfolio in a traditional way. In diversification in the port in a traditional way is just having multiple coins in your portfolio, crypto assets in that case. Um, which, 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 I mean, and, and these coins should not be uh, correlated to each other. But since in crypto, the vast majority of coins, they are highly uh, dependent on Bitcoin. In other words, whenever the price of Bitcoin rises, most other coins, they follow the rally. Whenever the price of Bitcoin falls, they also fall. Like, let's say, Bitcoin, you see it's now appreciated. Let's check what has happened with BNB. You see also appreciated. You, you can actually make a comparison by clicking here and let's say Bitcoin USDT. <clears throat> so you can see how they move in tandem. If they, if they move the same way, that means that coins have the highest correlation, like one of the highest correlations. That's why it, it's really hard to find in crypto those coins that are not correlated to Bitcoin. And here I have example, that's VU USDT. You see, it's been indifferent towards the, the Bitcoin market plunge uh, recently. You see, it, it went higher. So there are a few coins right now in crypto space that actually perform better than the main crypto of the market which is bitcoin but still that basically proves the rule that in crypto it's hard to diversify by coins but you can diversify by strategies that's why it makes sense to have high yield strategies like the one i have here like 0x to bitcoin because that's the double risk exposure here but also to have bots trading to usdt which is a conservative uh, strategy where you make returns in dollars also you diversify by just holding some coins so for example in my case i purchased some quantum i feel like i should have ethereum here yeah ethereum some other coins as well that are just in my portfolio and and i do nothing about them so this that's my hodl strategy in that case um around 40 or 30 percent of my entire portfolio is in usdt you shouldn't be all in in the market all the time you should have some cash for the risk uh perspectives uh, it makes more sense uh so most likely i will add more coins in my portfolio by using this usdt when i will see the bullish trend right now i don't see it and that's why I prefer to stay 
like around 30% to stay in cash, around 40% trading to BUSD and the rest in Bitcoins. But that's not it. I mean, thanks to the combo bot, which is the one we have for the futures market, you can now not only generate returns on, on the rising market by, by going along, but you can also short sell the market to, tr to make returns on the market fall, which is not possible on the S bot and the classic bot. On, that's only possible on the combo bot, thanks to the futures market nature. So as I switch to the combo bot, uh, futures. And, and let me actually open my another account where I have my futures bot just for a second. So with the combo bot, the cool thing about it is that you can trade with leverage. So for example, you have $100 and with $100 you can trade as if you had thousand dollars for example so you will get those returns that you would otherwise make if you had thousand dollars invested but having only hundred dollars in that case so that's the cool thing about the futures but at the same time that's the oh, actually I actually have to authorize my device let me just do this otherwise I cannot actually open my account to show you just just let me do this real quick um, yeah, so here we go. That's my combo bot here performance. Uh, let's go to futures, futures history. So you see, I made 23% for the whole time. And as you see, at the 8th of June, I had this trade on Bitcoin's USDT where I invested $456 and the leverage was 10x. So actually, uh, I traded 4560 but not 456 thanks to the leverage. And on, on this uh, downfall from 37k to 32k, the bot made $180. So the reason for for this trade is that I wanted to hedge against the falling market. I, I, I didn't want to sell the crypto that I had in my uh, long portfolio. I didn't want to close my bots that I just demonstrated you. I decided instead that I have some cash on futures account and it would make sense for me to counter react to the falling market. In other words, to hedge against the falling market. So that's why I opened short sell bot. And even though it did not fully cover my whole portfolio, right? But I mean, this is when I had to react quickly and I should have opened larger value, but this was still a good one to basically, uh, yeah, to, to trade against the falling market and to make some money on the falling market to, in other words, to hedge against the risk. So that's the perfect thing about the combo board is that you can use it to hedge your long trades. So with my S board and the classic board, I take advantage of the algorithm, which basically buys the dip. And even on this dip, on the sideways market formation, it still generates me money because it always can find these opportunities to buy low and sell high. So that's what I did. But I decided that it's not enough. And since um, I have enough expertise in the market and I know how to hedge against the market fall and I know basically when to hedge against the market fall, uh, you can take advantage of the combo bot as a hedging instrument. So whenever you feel the market is going to fall drastically, you can open the short bot. Uh, it's not just on Bitcoin. You can, you can short other coins that are available on futures market. That's for example, link to USDT. You can short sell link. So let's say you have link in your portfolio on your spot portfolio, but you don't want to sell it 
even though you see that it it will most likely fall right now so what you can do instead you can go and short link in that case you are basically hedging your spot uh, position that you have in link just for 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 this short term hedge i mean of course it makes no sense to hedge all the time if you feel like the, the price will fall drastically then most likely it makes more sense just to sell your link on the spot market but if you feel like the the shortfall the, the sell off is going to be uh, just for like a week maybe less and it will quickly re uh, regain its strength on the market like we have on bitcoin for example you see it fell to 32k and then quickly regained its strength again so if you feel like this is what could have happened with link then you should have taken advantage of the combo bot short just to hedge against this short term uh, market fall so that's how can you trade but i mean putting all these complex things aside uh, let's just go through the combo bot so the combo bot is the one designed for the futures market and here you can select the leverage basically the leverage is is the tool that you use to either increase your market exposure or to decrease your market exposure because the the larger is your leverage the more you can afford to 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 risk but at the same time the more you need to put as a margin as a collateral to cover this trade because i mean if you have only 100 dollars and you want to trade a thousand dollars basically here you cover 10 percent of the entire position approximately if you go in a cross mode but if you want to trade 100 dollars with a total value of let's say ten thousand dollars that's gonna be uh, a way larger risk exposure and the requirements here are gonna be bigger and you are having basically fewer opportunities that means that um, the liquidation price for this position is going to be too close to your entry price so most likely you will be liquidated so make sure you fully understand the nature of futures market and you know that uh, leverage can be your friend at some point and at the same time it can be your enemy because the larger is your leverage the more the the closer is your liquidation price in that sense and most likely will be liquidated because let's say your entry price was here but due to the fact that you used an over leveraged position uh, your liquidation is here because otherwise the market cannot afford you to trade longer i mean you have only that much of the collateral to cover this huge trade and that's why your liquidation is so close to your entry price i mean the more you put margin in this trade of course it makes the gap bigger which is good that means you provide the market with more space to trade most likely you will be not liquidated at that point so always remember that you need to put more margin if you want to make sure that you are not quickly liquidated from the market and you will need to have more margin as you want to have a bigger leverage all right so as a rule of thumb for me i trade 10x only and that's okay for me in the cross mode because in the cross mode i take my entire balance as a collateral so in that case i provide more space for my bots to trade so right now i don't actually want to open any positions but maybe let's let's check on, on bitcoin i'm not sure i want to open any i don't feel like it's gonna fall and i don't i don't know if it's gonna rise further i don't know it just right now i don't feel it and that's why i'd rather stick with my as bot strategies that i have active and we as of the combo bot i just don't feel that's the right time for me to enter the market but for example if you feel like for example here if you look at link 
and if you feel like it will continue this pattern down to this lowest price it, pre it previously traded then it makes sense to open short position on the combo board to take advantage of this falling market you can basically you make money on this downfall which is good i mean have you ever dreamt of having this opportunity to not only make money on the rising market but also to make money on the falling market and well basically here you now have this opportunity with the combo bot you can trade all markets the combo bot is the worst bot for this sideways market so if you feel like the market is going to move sideways do not trade the combo bot because it's not designed for the sideways market basically you will stay in 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 the d delta neutral position you will be in zero almost all the time so with the combo board just trade whenever you're sure it's gonna move either upwards or downwards that's the thing about the combo bot do not trade combo bot on the sideways market it's not designed for this market for the mm, sideways market stick with the ass bot so yeah i mean in trading and portfolio management the key th to your success is is risk management always so make sure that you fully understand what kind of risk management principles you want to follow um, basically never put all eggs in one basket it just it's it's just too risky so make sure that you diversify and the best way to diversify in crypto is to have multiple strategies for example, one strategy can be to split your investments to different automated bots. Those that will make you money in USDT, for example, or those that will make you money in, in BNB, for example, or Bitcoin. So this is your way to accumulate more coins. But use your another uh, portion of your portfolio to to buy just some crypto to hodl it just you you purchase it at some at some price and you forget about it for like five months maybe maybe even a year maybe longer so that's the purpose of the hodl strategy it it can reward you uh the most but this is where your patience and and, and yeah well basically it's only patience patience is being tested the most it's really hard for for people to wait for for that long like because we are so impatient especially in crypto we look at crypto the price skyrockets intraday like makes 60 percent or something and we feel like it's gonna be forever like you can make 60 percent in one day be realistic i mean diversify don't be greedy uh, just do not forget about the risk. You can lose everything in, in crypto if your risk management is 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 shit. So try to focus on different tools that split the risk. And that's how that's what you can actually do at Beatscap. You have smart trade mode where you can trade manually and you can set your take profits and 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 uh, stop loss to make sure that you won't lose more than a certain value and with the take profit you make sure that you secure your returns we actually have five mult like you can set multiple take profits up to five orders in total so by having that many take profits set at let's say four percent then eight percent like 14% then maybe another 20% you can actually split the risk you can you can basically secure your future returns don't wait for the price to reach 20% up you can split it take some portion when the profit is 4% take again some portion when the profit is 8% add it up together they mark, they, they still make up a decent return in long term perspective but with this mindset you split the risk and you mm, have more chances to make money on this market if you are not greedy so using these tools you make sure that you secure your returns stop loss 
don't forget about it the stop loss minimizes your potential loss and as I always mention in, in webcasts do not risk more than you can afford to lose and make sure that potentially you expect from the trade to make you more money than the risk that you put so for example if your anticipated return based on this take profits is let's say ten dollars but your risk is twenty dollars it makes no sense to risk twenty dollars just to get ten dollars literally your risk here is double bigger makes no sense but when your potential return is by twice or maybe three times larger than the risk that you put in this trade this is when it makes sense to trade only when your reward like if the potential reward you can get from the market based on your fundamental and technical analysis research this is only when it makes sense to trade when your reward is bigger than the risk that you put so this is where you have the most control on the market you can always change this take profit you can always change the stop loss with the bots you can achieve uh, sometimes even bigger returns when just in manual trade mode and also with automated bots at beats cap they automatically uh, secure your money because they they don't go all in at one price automated bots they split your investment by multiple orders so that's why it can achieve you the dollar cost averaging when let's say the let's say the price is now trading over here and this is your limit by orders of the bot so whenever the price falls it executes these orders so you see here it purchased some coin here it purchased again purchased 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 so if you calculate the value of each investment here to get the average price you enter the market you will see that uh, the bot gave you the best like it gives you better entry price compared with the manual trade mode as it splits your investments it basically splits your risk at the same time and then the price falls it achieves the best dollar cost averaging effect which is good we want to i mean the aim is to buy as low as possible right in order to sell later at the highest price possible right and with the and with the bot it actually proportionately buys the dip which is good it, it basically achieves the best entry price when the market is in the uh, plunge and the bot buys the dip and this is when it's really good to stick with the bot as it really uh, secures your investments in that sense so for example maybe i have some real cases here let me just open my previous account and i will show you so this is my spot market account mm. and let's maybe look at i don't know this one forward to bitcoin no, actually not the best one, maybe 0x, yeah. Let's check the price range. So if I would buy 0x at that price level here, where I started the bot with my bitcoins, and I left it as it is, then you would see the value depreciating by 19%. Whereas with the bot, I'm only in minus 10%. So compare minus 19% with minus 10%, which one is better? So this is where, once again, crystal clear visualization of why automated bots secure your investments. Because thanks to this proportionate distribution of my money, I'm not having minus 19%. As I would have otherwise if i would purchase with all my money at one price i only have minus 10 percent thanks to this algorithm 
so that's why and even even though it also made some money on this market fall which is another feature of the bot and that's why it's really important to understand the uh, the risk structure and the profit structure of all instruments that we have in in the crypto space so we have bots at Beatscap, for example right we have the smart trade mode where you can set uh, different orders like TVAP, shadow order, stop limits, and all that stuff. But in crypto, we also have other stories like liquidity mining, for example, on, on Binance, where you can generate basically semi-passive returns just by allocating some coins into the pool and you get interest on that. That's basically a passive story here. And I mean, the more you integrate uh, into your trading style, the better because by that you split the risk and that's the way for you to achieve maximum return on the market so for example you can have some stories involved in liquidity mining you can have some money involved in automated bots trading you can have some money in the manual trade mode where you basically check the, the market conditions every single day you set new take profits you, you adjust the stop loss if you feel like the price is now trading at the area where you should have your stop loss adjusted so different stories and thanks to the bids cap you have an all-in-one platform where you can have your automated bots you can have your uh, manual strategies executed and you can also monitor your hodl portfolio in the portfolio section here so that's the thing about uh, trading an all-in-one platform because by doing that you can achieve the uh, the best results because here is where you can play with the diversification so long story short for me diversification is not having multiple coins in your portfolio but rather having multiple strategies integrated in your trading discipline so for me as a rule that's 50 percent in automation around 30% uh, in smart trade basically that's manual trade manual trade and around 20% in hodl because i know hodl can bring me the most money in long term perspective but this one strategy is the riskiest one because the value of some coins can go to zero so that means i, I can lose everything so that's why i only allocate 20% all together, all combined, they have their different risk uh, and profit uh, stories. So, but all together, they make up a decent return generation machine if you know how to use these tools. So, make sure you learn how to trade automated boards and which one to use depending on the market conditions. So, the S board is for the sideways market classic board is for the rising market the combo board is the tool you can use on the futures market where you can trade on the rising market or you can make money on the falling market and use the smart trade where you can have the the ultimate control over your risk and return you can make based on these tools that we have here so you can have multiple take profits, you can have stop loss here. You can make it even trading stop loss, which means if the price rises, the stop loss will follow it. So at some point you will see that your stop loss is no longer acting as a tool for risk minimization, but rather at some point you will see that your stop loss has become your take profit. So which is another advantage of having a trading stop loss. But it also has its disadvantage. You can be liquidated from the market at the point then you would never actually exit the market. But since since the nature of the trading function is just to follow the market rally, that's why it's indifferent towards your technical analysis or whatsoever. It's just at some point you can be liquidated by the stop loss uh, at the price that you would not consider the favorable price to exit the market so <clears throat> yeah lots of tools and you have everything here at your disposal 
thanks to the demo mode, let me just switch to the demo mode. In the demo mode, you have virtual money to trade with and you can experiment with this money. So you see, for example, I have AGI trading to Bitcoin. It's so far had like 5,500 transactions for like 21 day only. Shay, that's a lot. I mean, 67% in, in, in one month. Even though that's that's my demo trade, that's that's not real money, but still you can trade here to simulate real trading, to learn about automated bots, to learn about the configurations that suit you the most, to learn about different configurations you can play with in the uh, construction mode here. So we have everything here for you guys to experiment and to find your ultimate configuration to beat this market. Yeah. So you can learn to construct as bot, you can learn to construct the classic bot, and you can actually launch simultaneously some bots by using the trick with the stable coins. So for example, you know that you can only start one bot per one trading pair. But since we have some coins trading to different stable coins, that's the trick. So for example, you can launch the bot on Bitcoin to USDT which is pretty much the same as launching the bot on Bitcoin to USDC. Yeah, so that's the trick. You can simultaneously launch different strategies, but pretty much on the same cryptocurrency pair. And you can check which one will bring you the most. So for example, you can launch on Bitcoin uh, to USDT. Where is that USDT? <clears throat> you can, for example, you can launch the classic bot with only maybe, I don't know, uh, 40 grids and 2.32 grid step and you can then quickly launch another board but this time on USDC but having different configuration let's say also on the classic board but this time not 40 grid levels but maybe 80 percent oh sorry 80 grid levels and you will check which one will bring you the most to compare um, and also use the back test to check the data like the, it takes the past data, it takes the um, historical performance and it simulates trading on, on this concrete date range to see what would be the return if you would have launched the bot back at that time. So let's say you launched, you wanted to launch the bot at the 12th of May, but you did not do this. You can still check what would be the performance in the backtest mode. You see, it would be around... Uh, that's actually strange, it should be show me... Yeah, yeah, 30 days, yeah, it would be 14% in that case. 14% of the return. So you can you can check the backtest on any coin for uh, any range with, a, like, the maximum is one month past. So you can have uh, your backtest from, let's say, 12th of May until today. So in... No, actually, that was wrong. Maybe, okay, 2nd of June until the 11th of June. So it will show you the result for these 10 days. So, I mean, you can check this data on any coin. It will basically give you an idea of what kind of return you can expect from this particular cryptocurrency pair. But also taking in mind that it will move more or less the same way it moved in the period that you have in the back test because for example you see this kind of market formation it made during this period but I mean if you expect the market to move the same way like boom like this you see the same pattern well most likely you can expect to get the same value like the same result you had here but it's never the case right it can move like this afterwards you can move like this so I mean, it's not the best tool to use for like perfect projections, but at least that's the only tool available in, as of today, the best tool to use to at least to make some projections, right? It's, it's better than nothing. And it gives you an idea of how much money you can get from this concrete configuration on this particular cryptocurrency pair. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Let me check what kind of questions you might have. Interesting, let's check what is the trade. Mm. What do you think if we trade with BTC up or BNB up, 
by the combo bot I mean of course you can do this uh, the thing about this particular uh, pairs is that they have their own built-in mechanism of uh, leveraging and deleveraging so uh, I mean it's it's just a bit more complicated than trading just ordinary futures contracts but um, I mean that's an option on futures market as well you can of course trade BTC up and BTC down uh, it's just that remember that these are futures of the futures so that's the thing about this contract uh, but yeah you can trade them mm -hmm. let's check Can you set take profits to just always automatically cash out 5% in USDT once that pair is up that 5%? So the thing about the take profit on the bots is that that's actually over here. You see the take profit. And let's say I set for HI, let's check it out. Let's say I want to set it at 80%. So whenever my change reaches 80% the bot will automatically cancel trading it will sell all of the base currency and it will stop trading so this is how it works for bots the take profit is in the change so if it reaches 80% it will stop trading if it reaches 90% in the overall result here change it will stop trading so that's how it works as of now um, Let's see what else we have. Mm. Oh, what's the purpose of the artificial intelligence of the bot? So the thing about the artificial intelligence that we implemented in our bots is that they are able to uh, detect market anomalies. But not all the time, like by 80% of the accuracy, but still they can predict, not, not, not actually predict, but detect this extreme pump and dump scenarios on the market. So whenever the market is about to, to pump heavily or dump heavily, the bot will stop trading for a while until the, the market situation stabilizes. So that's the thing about the artificial intelligence that we have, that's our know-how. I, uh, I mean, I cannot tell you how exactly it works and like what are the tools that we use to early detect this extreme pump and dump scenarios that are about to happen on a particular cryptocurrency pair. But it's there and our bots with pretty, um, pretty, f yeah, pretty, Pretty, pretty accurate percentage uh, it achieves in detecting this extreme pump and dump scenarios. So, in case when the bot detects extreme pump or dump on the market, you will see the pump protection status, something like that. Which, by the way, has never been the case for my trades, but it's been the case for some other users who've been trading those coins that were under the circumstances of extreme pumps or dumps uh, <clears throat> pushing the the price yeah I see I, I'm so afraid the bot would destroy my account when the market went down extremely I mean that's that's the uh, phrase from the Dow Felak so I mean yeah well that's what we that's the purpose of this webcast to teach you on how to use this bots and how to use other tools that we have to secure your positions so as I said, diversification is the key to success and proper risk management is what defines your long-term, mid-term uh, success. Uh, so yeah, well, we have all the tools like for the sideways market, that's the S bot, for the rising market, that's the classic bot. And in any case, all these bots, they make money for you whenever the price rises or move sideways or even falls, they still can find these opportunities to buy low and sell high, right? So it's just that 
you need to diversify your money and never put all money in one concrete strategy diversify with with different strategies and have some money just in cash just for the security never put 100 percent in crypto that's what i would recommend make sure you use bots make sure you use manual trade make sure you just hold all and make sure you just have some usdt just just in case just in cash that's the thing what would be the best way to accumulate just not to set a stop loss yeah that's the funny thing i mean uh, by the way if you look at my current trades i don't feel like i have stop loss for for these trades because i'm i mean my aim here is to accumulate and i want to give as much space as possible so for example if the value of bitcoin goes below my trading range i'm okay with that most likely what i will do i will launch the bot but with the larger uh, trading range because in the midterm and long-term perspective i'm confident that the value of bitcoin will appreciate and what we see right now happening on the market is just the phase of market fear which is inevitable it happens all like almost every two years and then the market again regains in strength and goes even higher so the sentiment has remained bullish in any case it's just that the fear is real but the the threat is not take advantage of this market fear accumulate when the rest capitulate and that's why you can use these bots to do this and since i'm pretty confident that we are in the accumulation phase because the vast majority of tools they indicate that we are in the accumulation i can see the money flow and it, it, it's just the time to be patient and make use of bots that can accumulate money on this sideways market formation so that's why i don't have the stop loss because if it falls i will just set another bot to trade a wider range and to take this advantage of this range so uh, but it doesn't mean that you should also trade with without the stop loss it's just the way i consider the market i mean it's based on your expectation if you can afford the price to to fall then maybe stop loss is not you cannot i mean you 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 know you don't need to use the stop loss but if you are mm, running out of money and you are afraid then most likely you should use the stop loss in that case that's the thing i put that amount of money to afford me to to have another phase of accumulation that's not all my money that i would otherwise put in crypto it's just a portion of it that's it's the portion of it because i'm still consider that it might fall and if it falls then i will take advantage of this fall i will buy this dip and that's why i have not all my money in crypto right now that's why i still have some usdts and some other accounts with usdts just to just to make sure if it falls then i will buy the dip so yeah i mean in any case the rule of thumb diversify with strategies don't put all money in one strategy just make sure that you have different stories that make you money and that's the success in crypto so yeah that's it for today and, and i really appreciate you all coming i never take your time for granted even if there would be only let's say 10 people i would still host this webcast because i, I really love doing this uh, i love sharing my expertise my use cases with you and that's the only way to beat the market the more we mm, collectively participate the more we like we share we exchange ideas and basically speak up use the comment section below and use the the support system that we have just speak up i mean tell the things that you want to see at beatcap what you feel like is missing what you feel like would improve your trading that's what we want you guys to do just to hear you out just to see what other tools you need and yeah but i mean it should be in the justified manner i mean if you ask for something then it should be justified that you need it and we always read we go through this feedback and that's how we implement new instruments like you see you now have the combo bot to trade on the futures market which is something you won't find on other platforms I mean we are basically the pioneers here with the combo bot trading on the futures market in a way it trades in the combo bot we've designed 
that's the pioneers here so yeah i mean we have a very friendly community and that's why that's why we really we really move fast enough that's why we are capable of developing new instruments quick enough thanks to your feedback thanks to your participation and thanks to your loyalty that's the only way that we can all together combine achieve bigger results so yeah i hope this webcast was useful for you feel free to watch other webcasts on the youtube and subscribe to the channel because we are about to release some uh, interesting videos mm, and also go to the Beatscap knowledge base on the website and go to the blog where you can have uh, access to some valuable uh, articles that I wrote and my colleagues wrote you can read more about different strategies and uh, some indicators that you can use in crypto so lots of things